Canceled comedian Jim Florentine joins me now. So, Jim, were you, like, at the club ready to go up when they gave you the hook? No, I wasn't even booked till October. I just got booked two weeks ago, and you know, tickets were on sale. They were selling, and all of a sudden, uh, we get this email: "No, you're canceled," along with the three other comics. What were the activists so upset about? Had they ever even heard you before? I don't think so. I don't know. You know, I mean, uh, they didn't even see my act. What I'm doing now, you know, I, I talk about my pronouns. I talk about people of color, you know, I talk about transitioning. I'm going to put a pink streak in my hair, so I don't know why they canceled me. <laughs> do you feel upset by this, or do you think this is going to help your career? I think it's actually going to help. You know, at first I, was, I laughed about it, but then I got all these different venues in the area go, we'll have you there, we'll have you there. So there's a club 20 minutes away to Tacoma Comedy Club goes, we'll have you. So they booked me for that weekend, there you which go. is great. Have you ever actually had one of these local activists come up to you in person, face to face, and said anything to you, or is it usually just anonymous? Ne never. They never do. I perform in New York City all the time, one of the most biggest liberal cities. No one's ever said anything, ever. How they don't care. If they don't like the joke, they just don't laugh. Right. I mean, or you don't have to go to the show. I don't understand how a show, which is in an enclosed building, would in any way affect anything in this so-called community. Especially all four of us have our own following, so all of our fans were going to come to that club. It wasn't like people just going to walk off the street. They researched the comics, and they go, that's not my style of comedy. So all of our fans were going to come to that club, so I don't see what the problem was going to be. So your fans were going to come to the club, spend money in the city, buy drinks in this town, help this neighborhood economically, and they said, you know what, I don't think you're that funny and you're offensive. Let's just lose money. Exactly. And maybe step in some homeless poop, too. Our fans would have done that, too. But other than that, All right. it's just crazy. Look, I, it's, it's not like I haven't got canceled before, you know, so I, I get it. You know, other clubs have done it. Plus, I've been married. I've been I got divorced. That's get, like getting canceled. <laughs> That's true. And Gutfeld. You know, but at least I still, you know, I, I, Gutfeld I didn't lose you. half my cash. <laughs> <laughs> right, Gospel cast me. Plus, I didn't lose half my cash and I, my big screen TV. So there you go. No smash Whatever. I'm doing grabs. a club 20 minutes away now. Cancel culture is over. I think Shane Gillis just did Saturday Night Live. He got you know from fired from there. So we're all good. I think we're all good. You're gonna have your big screen. You're gonna have your better venue, and they can have their ethos. <laughs> How about that? Jim, thank you so much. I don't even know what that word means. I don't, I don't even, even know what ethos means. I didn't I even know how to pronounce it. I, I just, I, I winged it, and I think <laughs> I might have gotten it right. Thank you so much. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.